Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 14 of Sky Capsule Project, a mod pack by the mediocre modders. Well, in the last episode, I didn't get quite as far with the bees as I wanted, and unfortunately, I also did not think of, like in my time lapse, I didn't really do the little bit that I also needed to do, which is... I'm kind of sad about that, but you know, it, it is what it is. I'm going to try and do my best to resolve it now. And oh, I'm going to grab some water. So I need to get started on auto crafting today. That's the main goal of the episode, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, bees at the same time, uh, just so that I can keep up with things because there's so much to do. Oh, and by the way, what? Oh, this is out of redstone. I put, didn't I put 64 blocks of redstone in there? Oh, does use a lot. Oh, because I didn't make them better. I always forget. I didn't like do the, uh, the improving thing that you can do. Like, if I don't do that, it's not going to be quite as good as it could be. Let me just throw that in there and that in there. So like I said, today I just, I need to enter, like I need to work on my refined storage and on the bees at the same time. Also, hmm, I think I'm done, yeah, I'm done with all this breeding. So I'm going to grab all of this and uh, I'm going to grab all of this and complete the setup. Well, not complete the setup, but you know what? I don't like using that chest up there. I'm going to come back down here and I, I'm just going to make one small change to my setup because I looked at it afterward and I'm like, this is going to be way more useful like this. So let's just grab another chest. And basically, I keep doing something, I want to say kind of stupid slash crazy. I keep going in and out, but I can access this from here. So I'm just going to go and put some chest right here this and that's going to be my oh that's going to be my b storage for now because i i want to be semi organized and for in my big time lapse time lapse i'm going to really organize my bees but for now what i've been doing is i like doing it like this so gold 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 and i'm missing one gold i think it's up here yeah there's a lot of them up here so let's come back down here because that way like i want to have four of each so dielectric 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 i need to grab at least the singles from here so this one this one this one uh maybe the abb i'm not sure and come back here so another dielectric right here so that's how i'm going to be able to see that I've got all of the bees time for each. And when I want to use a bee, I'm going to breed it before I put it into something. So coal, 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 and coal, then lead, 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 nickel, nickel, nickel. So I like doing this because see it, it places them correct in the, in what I feel is the correct order. But I want to order them by name for sure at some point. So at some point, I'm going to have to take some time and go through all of this and really rearrange all of them. For now, I can just do this little quick setup so that at least I know, like, I have the ability to find whatever these I want. And perfect. So I don't care about this right now. Now I'm going to remove this and remove this. And I'm going to put it right here and this right here. And I don't know if it broke the apiary. No, it's still there. Perfect. So the way I've just set it up right now, the, the reason I like it like that, so I just can go boom, breed, grab the bees, put them there. Then I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to remove this one right here and put it on this side so that it's for the breeding stuff. It's all accessible from the same side. And anyway, once I'm done with the breeding, and I'm going to set up everything for the actual honeycombs. I'm going to reorganize this in another way. Anyway, so this way for now, we're going to have... Um, and the reason I was doing this, by the way, uh, guys, is that I want to be able to do four sets of breathing at the same time. Like My idea is to 
start for breeding there, then for there, then for there, then for there, and then go and do other work. So that's the technical end goal of what I want to do. Uh, so this and grab some more eggs and put them there. Unfortunately, these are the one where I have to insert them manually. Still have not made the tin, still have not made the bones. Uh, let me grab all of these, 4, 8, 12, 16, which means I need 16 bee jars. So when I actually am going to be uh, releasing bees, that I'm going to do within a structure because I don't want them to go all over the place. One, two, three, four, and catch them back. I'm going to need those for crafting. And that's why like most, well, most, a lot of them have at least four crafting uh, breeding recipe, at least some least, some more. So that's why I made four because in a bee breeder, where's, oh, sometimes they're hard to find. Okay, so sometime in the uh, sometime there's more than four, not much that I can do. But if there's four, let's say that I have the another bee and there's four crafting. Well, with that set up like this, I can do all four at the same time. So one, two, three, four, and catch these. And this one. And this one. Perfect. Okay, so now I can come back here and finalize my. Uh, finalizing my B setup. So dirt, 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 and dirt. And I'm going to put granite, 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 granite right here. Then I can do this same split right here. Nether, 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 nether. Uh, diorite, 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 diorite. So you know what? I'm going to remove these and I'm going to put the two ABB in here because I don't need to shift click in this box anymore. So I've got diorite, I've got granite. I'm pretty sure I've got andesite. Yep, perfect. So now I can come back here. Do the next water one and let's grab some resource from some bees that i didn't have time to craft the last time so i'm going to need some snow block uh one two three four to make the snow four snowball bees uh lava's done water's done i'm gonna need to do the fishy one which is salmon but it's four salmon each so uh four eight twelve sixteen perfect so i'm gonna need really like this perfect then the next one that i need i haven't made the wood one the wood it's oak and again it's eight per eight per is 32 uh eight per is 32 then i'm going to need to do the sand which is compressed sand one two three four and the gravel which is also compressed one two three four so we have one two three four five bees left to smelt uh, is that one, two, three, four, five? Yep, yeah, that's exactly what I have left to do. And for now, I'm going to throw all of this in here. I still haven't made the last water one. And like, I want to stay next because these are simple. Oh, yes, the RGBB. I need to do the RGBB, and that one's actually more important than all of the other. So four of this, four of this. i kind of sad that I, I remember that recipe by heart. I have a hard time remembering four ingredients sometimes. And now this, I just remember. Uh, oh yeah, but it's actually, how is it placed? Aglo agglomeration, uh, where's the RGB agglomeration? Right here, the die agglomeration, like this, perfect. So that is absolutely the next one that I'm starting because a lot of the, the B setup that I want to do today requires the RGB, the RGBB. So let's just start a little bit of crafting uh, of uh, setup right now. I need RGB, uh, no, I need gold and nether. Did I need the pigment already? Uh, pigment, no, gold and nether. Nether, spot. yeah, gold and nether. Perfect, so come right here, gold and nether. Then I need gold and uh, cobblestone, gold and cobblestone. So gold and nether is going to give me uh, the pigment bee, which is important. Then gold and cobblestone is gonna give me cinnabar, which is important for the next bees. Like it's a, it's a bee to get to the next level. Lead and andesite, iron and coal. Lead, andesite, iron, coal. Lead. And the site, lead, 
and the side and iron and hole. Perfect. So let's just set that up. Uh, lead and the side, iron and coal. And now I need some material for all of these bees. So the gold bees require gold. Cobblestone bee require cobblestone. Uh, nether bees require netherrack. Um, lead requires lead. So I need lead and the site and 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 the site. Oh, you know what? Let's grab some dandelion because I know I'm gonna need some for my RGBB. So iron and some coal. Iron and coal. Iron and iron. Let's go. And coal. And like I said, now that these like this is so much easier now. Now I can just go put four at a time and it's going to make the four eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna go gold and gold split into their nether rat there. This is cobblestone, uh, lead and andesite and iron and coal. And now I'm gonna need some bee jar. And 16 is the perfect number to just do like this. And all of these crafting should start perfect, which means we are now starting what this episode is supposed to be all about. Okay, so if you remember in the very, 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 very long last episode, I did two stacks of these each just so that I could get started. You know what, let me grab these. But the reason I grab these is I know that they're going in there and that's where I'm going right now. So Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to grab some silicon, some enriched iron, just a little bit more. And is there anything else that I need now? Not sure, but I'm going to stay there. And let's get started with the quest. Refined storage. So quartz enriched iron and silicon, we already read, we already did. Machine casing, it wants three. Virtually every block in RS requires a machine casing. In the recipe, make three right now to get a basic system going. So I'm really not about making the minimum for now. So I'm going to make a stack of machine casing, and which I know the recipe by heart because I've made so many of these machine casing in my life. It's just, oh. but the good news is that the refined storage is the easiest of the storage system to craft. It has, it doesn't have the cable restriction of eight per side and it does, and they all auto connect together. Like it's really a, more fun system to work with so cable pretty self-explanatory this is the cable you need to connect all your rs device together so the cable you basically only need when you're doing uh like uh you only really need the cable when you want to connect two things that are really far away because uh like i said the machines do connect within each other so it, the number of cable that you actually need in this is a bit lower so let me find the cable right here and I need some redstone redstone and let's go like this cable and I don't want to make too many of these I'm going to make just four stacks for now so just out of curiosity so that's six. Oh, too bad that's that's enough for now like I don't need 50 million of these, and I'm gonna be setting up auto crafting as soon as I can. Perfect, so the next step is we need a controller. The controller is the art of the RS, the heart of the RS system. Storage drawers are here too. These two mods work great with each other for all your storage needs. Yes, yes they do. The refined storage mod is amazing, and it's so much simpler, like we're gonna have a lot of fun with that. So we're gonna need a, oh, a controller. That seems like the proper name. And God, I hate these colors recipe. It makes finding the actual recipe so much harder. So I need one controller. We also so saw that we're gonna need some disk drive. So let's grab four chests. I wanna make four disk drive. Am I going to need that many? I, I don't know, but they're so cheap. I'm gonna make the four at least. And since we got out of the crafting, we can at least go read the recipe, uh, the, the quest. There, the, there are storage blocks you could use with RS as well, but the disk drive allows you to add multiple disks into one block, so that's what we recommend you use. Perfect, so now we're going to make four disk drive, like these, perfect. And then, 
we need a crafting well we don't need a crafting grid per se it's just better we need at least one grid to access stuff so crafting grids allow you to access your rs system as well as craft with items stored inside there are grids that just allow access to the system and items but crafting grids are just better hell yeah they are better absolutely so i already know that i want to make uh four grids okay so i'm going to need a couple of construction core oh. Uh, perfect. So like I said, I'm going to need a couple of construction core. I'm going to make 16. I don't want to burn, again, through all of my resource, like I said. And a couple of destruction core like this. Then we can finally make our grid. So I'm going to make four grid. Perfect. And remove those. And then we're going to grab some crafting table. One, two. And I'm going to make two crafting grid you know what just search for them it's just so much because again it's going to offer me 500 colors of each which is i'm going to repeat again i find super annoying so two crafting grid then i want a pattern grid pattern grid because we are going to be setting up some auto crafting oh i do need patterns for that so yes okay pattern grid let's craft some patterns I'm going to craft 10. Oh, I'm going to craft 11. So that means I'm going to use one for the pattern grid. And it's going to leave me with 10. And finally, I don't know if I'm going to use it, but maybe let's just make the fluid grid so that at least we have a way of seeing fluid if we need it. So let's go right here. Bucket, grab a bucket. And let's craft, craft a fluid grid like so. And voila. So now it... If I go back to the quest, we have the bare minimum to set up a system with no auto crafting, no nothing. So let's just go back to the bees and see where we're at bee wise. So here, let's grab the four snowball and make the next four bees. And let's go look at our bee generation. Ha ha ha, nice. And these, they're all finished. Uh, but I have too much stuff in my inventory. You know what? Like I said, I need to be juggling the two. So let me grab an alchemical chest right here. Put this down right here. And let's get rid of everything in my inventory. So I can grab all of this like that. And then I can do the next level. Okay. So I needed a pigment bee. And let me grab all of these. And since these are beautiful... And ready, I'm just going to put the nether bee back. I, I'm probably going to need it later. It's just that I want to be able, silver, silver. Nope, that's steel. I want to be able to push them in easily. Silver, silver, steel, 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 steel. And then pigment, pigment, pigment. And the rest are the two golds that I need here. The coal, this, iron, cobblestone, and the side. Yeah, that's beautiful. You know what? I'm going to grab another alchemical chest right here because instead of having to search for the resource, as you can see, I still have a lot of these. I can go and shop right here. So first thing is I'm going to grab some gold nuggies because zombie pigmen use nine gold nuggies instead of just gold. So I know I'm going to need some of that. And what are the new bees that we made? Steel, silver, steel, silver, cinnabar. Oh, cinnabar is going to be a problem well, let me look at the b quest uh bbbs right here and also the reason they're not detected like this i've made no i've made the cinnabar but i haven't looked at it so i need a i need the blaze b and the blaze b how is the blaze b made again it's pigment and redstone okay so in the future I i'm gonna I know I've already written all of the recipe, but ideally, if you don't know how, you come and right click on the bee right here. You find the bee breeding and you see that blaze and coal. Oh, no, sorry. How to make uh, the, the blaze bee. I need pigment and redstone, and I don't think I've made my redstone bees yet. Um, yes, I have made my redstone bee. So, bla uh, blaze is... Pigment and 
Blaze so Big Man right here. Big Man and Redstone, so let's grab that. And of course, let's grab some Redstone. And of course, let's grab some B Jars. And like I said, I'm just going to go this so I don't have to go back and forth all the time. Big Man, Big Man, Redstone, Redstone. And let's split that like that. So that V is started. I also want to make a Lapis B, but I can't right now because of the Cinnabar. Okay, so we're going to resolve. Oh, no. Okay, I think one of our problem is this. I'm going to grab a Cinnabar B. And this one I've never put down, so I've never looked at it. Now that I've looked at it, the Cinnabar B is completed. And we really need to because we haven't unlocked Cinnabar yet. But now we have. So what we're going to do is this is an apiary. We're going to put the Cinnabar down, block down. And we're going to release the Cinnabar. B well, we're going to release two. So let me come back right here and grab a second one. And we're going to start producing some Cinnabar so that we can breed the bee. Without Cinnabar, we're not going to be able to breed the bee. So it, the apiary, this is a tier one apiary. So at least it should produce, I think, eight honeycomb per. So it went in and when it comes out, it should give us eight honeycomb. So the other thing I wanted to make is I have blaze and coal. So I'm going to grab a coal bee and I'm going to grab the coal. And now we need some blaze rod, which are not in the system anywhere, but we can just grab a stack right here and come back. So now I should have one. Nope. Oh, I have eight cinnabar. I'm going to grab that right now and put it in our centrifuge. Oh, right here. I'm like, what did I do with my centrifuge? Should I get rid of it? Like, no, that's not possible. So I'm going to grab the next, which are going to be bone. And now I need to grab those. Okay, and I should have at least one bee generated now. Yes, so I have a blaze bee. So I'm going to put a blaze bee right here and a coal. So blaze and coal is going to give me a lapis, which was a bee that we required for the second level. And then we need to put blaze and coal. No, oh uh, yeah, so blaze and coal is diamond, sorry. Now we need RGBB and cinnabar. RGBB and cinnabar. So cinnabar is right here. Oh. Cinnabar is right here and RGBBs are right here. So we're gonna have to go inside and I'm gonna go inside of an, oh, there's an animal in this one. You know what? Let's go and kill said animal. Perfect. Well, perfect. I, I like killing animals, I guess. Wow, that came out so wrong in Minecraft. In Minecraft. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so let's come back right here. And we're going to... Oh, I got rid of the dandelions. So I still need dandelion, which I took the time to go get. But now I don't have. So now I'm going to go dandelion and an RGBB. And I'm just waiting for some cinnabar from here perfect that i can now put in the breeding spot and do that breeding and you know what i have some more so let's come back here and do some more we're going to need a little bit more cinnabar to make the seed also so yeah that's good so let's put all of this nope not the bees uh i should yeah i'm gonna take the time just to free up these bees because I'm going, I might need them in another craft. And now we're going to go and set up our system because at least we have some breeding ongoing. So one, two, three, and four. Perfect. One, two, three. Oh, the lava bee are so cute. You're so cute. Don't burn me though. Uh, grab you and grab you. Perfect. And finally, what's the last four? The water bees. Water bees. Water bees. No, I mean water bees. That was an old meme. Okay, so let's grab that, come back. And you know what? Water and lava makes obsidian. So I want the obsidian B and I do have a spot left free. I'm not sure though what they take. So let me just search for obsidian because then I'll see both at the same time. How do we make an obsidian B with this? I need uh, leaves and cobblestone. Yeah, okay. Don't know why cobblestone. That seems kind of wrong, but okay. Um, And leaves leaves let's grab a stack 
and then we can come back here and say water so this and this and perfect so now i'm going to put the rest of these bees away and we're going to continue well continue we're now going to set up our uh refined storage system okay. i'm sorry if that's a bit confusing that i'm doing these two things at the same time but the bee breeding is amazing for resources or hard to get resource because there are resources that you can get this way without the seeds like take, for example the cinnabar we were able to get the cinnabar bees without having to make cinnabar seed without having to get cinnabar so whatever we can do this way well at least that's good so for my auto crafting setup i'm gonna put it in between right here uh so i'm going to need some cobblestone like a little bit cobblestone building bucket you know what would be really useful now that i think about it actually grabbing my refined storage stuff from the drawer uh, from the alchemical chest before leaving. so grab all of this perfect and let's go back okay so like i said if you remember what i said this all interconnects so there's nothing quite special here so we're going to put the controller in the middle so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 15, 15, 16, 17, perfect. So 17 is nine. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right there. Then we're going to put the four disk drive on this side. This drive, this drive, this drive, this drive. Then we're going to make the, we're going to put the crafting grid right here. Then the fluid grid right there. Then the, oh, I'm not going to put the pattern grid right now for one simple reason. The pattern is a quest, and until I've uh, claimed the, like, until I've claimed, unlocked the quest, I can't claim the quest. So now we're going to, nope, wrong place. Connect this, and select the network. Perfect. Remove all limit, and voila. So this is now online, but there's no drive, so I can't do anything. So now let's go to uh, 4K. And let's craft a 4K drive. Just one tiny little 4K drive so I can get started. I need three 1K. One. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Okay, so let me go grab two or three stacks of these right here. One, two, three. So it's not multi-crafting because it's in my inventory, but we're going to solve the problem immediately. We're going to go like this. Like this. And glass like this and redstone like this and we're going to say balance grid and you know what i'm going to make four 4k six seven eight nine i need some more redstone redstone and redstone right here so nine ten eleven twelve perfect so now i can make four 4ks oh get back my stuff like until i have the actual storage yeah that's going to be a little bit harder but we're going to get to it. Don't worry. So let's just do this and this and split grid so we can do all four, grab back our stuff. And now we need to make those into, oh, I should have done it directly. Okay, so now I need to make storage housing. Uh, like, oh, come on. <laughs> like this and like this and like this and balance grid. So I need four. Then I can remove all of this and put this. And put this four and voila we're finally off to the races because now I can put all of this in here like so and now it's going to make everything so much easier so if I want to make another 4k right now then I can do this oh then I can do this and go one two three because it's grabbing from the system throw it back in say I want another 4K and then I want a 4K drive like this and voila, that's how simple it is right now. Auto crafting for, well, not auto crafting, but simple crafting. So let's come back right here and temporarily dump this and just grab our next levels of bees. So if I grab all of, and let's grab the Cinnabar too. And I'm gonna stop the Cinnabar B by the way, because I really don't need more Cinnabar. I'm going to grab all of these and all of these resource. Oh no, 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 what's the, 
There was one that wasn't finished. Uh, the Diamond Bees, which was Blaze and Coal. Blaze and Coal. Whew. Well, that was a derp. So let me come back right here. And this is Cinnabar. So, you know what? Let's go and grab my two Cinnabar Bees because, like I just said, I don't need Cinnabar anymore. I'm going to be able to make the seeds. So, hey, get out of there. Come on, out. Urgh. And by the way, what I found with apiaries is that two bees work well because by the time one's in, the other one's pollinating, then the other one comes back in. Like it seems to be a good ratio. Uh, here, pigman B, pigman B, uh, RGBB. I love the name of the RGBB. Uh, where's my other RGBB? Okay, I don't know. So let's put the other stuff. This is coal. Nope, that's still there. Redstone, redstone. Um, the ABP is right there. Oh, it's green. It keeps changing color. Yeah. So you have to be looking at which one you want when you want it. So water, lava, and then we're going to have the diamond beast. What is it that I'm reading here? I think I'm making an extra B that I don't need. Hmm, I'm a bit confused, but I'm easily confused, so that's not a surprise. L lapis, 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 lapis. Oh, it's obsidian that I'm missing. Yo, nope, it's too late. So now I have an extra beast for no reason. I'm going to come back here, and it's, I need obsidian. You know what, let's be, put the coal there so I can do this. Then grab back the coal, come back here, and put back the right here so we said we need one water and one lava and derpy derp derp I'm not happy about this because the reason I'm not happy about this is that I'm just slowing things down like I'm trying to be like on a tear and just tear through everything and be super fast and my being super fast ends up making me kind of slow so now we're going to you know what I'm going to keep this extra diamond bee because I know that I'm going to need some bees to set up in the apiaries at the end once I'm done. Okay, so now that we're done with this, time to continue progressing uh, the, the refined storage. So, what's the next step? Oh, yes, the next step of refined storage. <laughs> hey, now we're going to get into some fun stuff. So, let's grab four stacks of enderpearl, a little bit of this, more of that, more of this. You know what? More of that. And more of this. Let's go back. You know, ooh, I know where we're going with this. So I'm also going to need some netherite. And you know what? Some uh, nether star. So let's come back right here and do all of this. There's space in the system. We should be good. We're going to transform 64 like this. And we're going to need some eyes of enders. Uh, let's just do it this way. I, I hate when it make, becomes complicated. Okay, I need 64 eyes of enders, so now guess what I need? Ender pearl. One, two, three, four. Perfect, and let's come back here. Ah, we need to get into auto crafting like, like yesterday. Perfect. So, if I come back here and I go to refined storage, next thing is crafter. The crafter from refined storage allow you to auto craft items. The RS Crafter has nine slots, so you need quite a few by endgame. But don't worry, we've got you covered. Extra storage is in the pack with upgraded Crafter, which have more slots and are faster than the original Crafter, but you need one of these first anyway, so might as well make it now. So now we're going to make refined, uh, refined and some Crafter like this. Can I make eight of these? Yes, eight is a good start. So, oh, let me keep those. And now, because of that, I've also unlocked the pattern grid, which I need to grab. Really? I gotta stop putting things in random chests. Let's come back right here and grab this and grab these. Perfect. So now we should be able to come back here. I won't need to go to the back. Like, I want to make a wall, like, completely fill this with machines, but I, I'm not going to have to come back here pretty soon. So now we have a pattern, uh, 
pattern grid that I'm going to put right here. And then we can start making patterns. And let me grab the patterns. Oh, so what is the first pattern that you need? The first pattern that you need is the pattern pattern. It has always been that way and it will always need to be that way because you need pattern to do patterns. Um, but before we do that, I want to upgrade. I don't want to use the basic uh, tier crafter. I want to use the highest tier crafter. Upgraded crafter are available if your server allows them. Upgraded RS crafter are available to craft, assuming your server admin hasn't disabled some of them. Iron, gold, diamond, and netherite crafter are in the pack and offer a huge boost to space and speed over default RS crafter. So I already know we're going to need some iron for the first level. Then we're going to need some gold. For whatever reason, the first level is ingot, but when you get to gold and diamond, it's actually block. So uh, gold, diamond, we're going to need some chest to augment the storage. And then I can come in here, put all of this here, and then crafter. Second, and all of the color recipe are here now, which is annoying as all hell. So we're going to go like this and say eight upgraded to iron. And then, oh no, we can't, we need these weird processors. I kind of forgot about that. Hmm. No, I want this. It's more important for me that I get this. So I'm going to come back here and what do I need? I'm going to need for the upgraded one, I'm going to need these weird neural processor, which are made from raw advanced, raw improved, and processor binding. I'm going to make a stack. So one, two, three stacks of this. One, two, three stack. Uh, do I need three stack of this? Just one second, please. Uh, not white crafter. So these do not require, nope. So these require, so I only need one extra. So let's put that back right there. So now I need some redstone, redstone, two stacks. I need some gold, one stack. I need some diamond, one stack, and I should be good now. So let's do this. For this more advanced thing, I need these neural processor, which I need a stack of raw improve. You know what? Go, 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 and go. One stack of these. Then I'm going to need, I think it's, I'm just going to go check because again, I don't want to waste time trying to figure out the wrong thing. Uh, oh my God. Where's the recipe? Right here. Okay. So I need... Three stack of this, two stack of obsidian, one stack of crafting table. So one, two, three, obsidian, uh, obsidian, two stack, one, two, and crafting table, one. Perfect. So now we should be able to make these run your processor. And you know what? I've got three of them right here. So I'm going to go, uh, you know what? Let's just do it the cheeky way. One, two, three. And we actually need to be able to upgrade all eight. We're going to need 16. Oh, I've not made enough, I think. You know what? I'm going to just do what I can and auto craft the rest later because this is getting a bit annoying. What I'm going to do is upgrade one crafter to netherite level. And then the rest I can just auto craft later because I don't want to be wasting too much time manually crafting when I can go full on um, when I can go full on uh, automated. Perfect. So let's come back right here, throw that in there, and go. Next year is like this, and I'm only going to make one. And next year is like this again, only one. Then for the netherite, I'm going to need four block. One, two, three, four. And then if I do this, I go like this, another one netherite crafter. And now we can put this down right here and we can start putting patterns in there. So now I can do this and I can start auto crafting patterns. So technically, I'm going to need to start putting recipe for everything that we want to auto craft. 
Okay, so next step. Next step is actually being able to access this from everywhere. So I want a wireless transmitter. So I'm gonna come back right here and say, but why you're less? I want a wireless transmitter like this, just one, and I'll just plop it on top right here. And the reason I kept a crafting grid like this is that I can transform this crafting grid into a wireless crafter. Now I need to recharge this. I have a simple solution. I forgot to turn this on. Well, it's not that I forgot, as I didn't need it. We have wireless charging here. I'm going to say hot bar, enable wireless, apply. There's only one special thing about it. If you're on it, it's not going to recharge. It needs to not be in your main end. If you want it to charge when it's in your main end, you have to also click that. Okay. So I, I always do these two. I'm, I don't do the whole inventory. Maybe I could do the whole inventory at some point. And voila. So I just right click the antenna. And now we have this wireless crafting from anywhere. Well, not from anywhere. If I come down here, there's no wireless transmitter in range. But these guys, the mediocre motors, are absolutely not mediocre about this. They've made sure that we can make this amazing. Once you have a wireless transmitter, you can extend the range of with these booster or will fit one transmitter. Okay, so we're going to come right here and we're going to say range upgrade. We want to make these range upgrade. Well, we need to make the basic one first, and I'm going to make 12 of these. I have a good reason for it. And then we're going to transform these 12 into 12 range booster. But I'm not going to put them in the antenna because the next level is infinity range on your wireless. Yes, please. So if I come here and I look at that from three of them, I can make an infinity infinity range booster but why make one when i can make four and i have a reason for that because the next level is dimension card who needs infinite range when you can have infinite range across all dimensions this upgrade will allow you to access your rs system anytime anywhere one upgrade to rule them all so okay let's do that then like so and then i come right here and i do this and now this works from any world, any dimension, anywhere, anytime, anyway. So that's the main level of this. What I really want though is the transmutation interface. Because the transmutation interface, this block will allow you to hook up your EMC network with refined storage, allowing you to craft with items in the table without having to put them in the system. But I need tier three medium capsule for this and tier three medium capsule requires a tier three catalyst, which requires a catal catalytic converter. So unfortunately that's going, that's why the next episode is going to be about the catalytic catalytical converter. So right now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start one next, uh, round of breeding with you guys. And then I'm going to go in my time lapse. And that time in that time lapse, what I'm actually going to do. Oh, one last thing. Because yeah, why not? I always need to do one last thing. They're not part of a quest, and I don't know why. I find that very annoying because it's so useful. Um the best thing about um refined storage is that it's it's fully embraced the wireless idea. So if I go right here. There's a, let me, I want to make the pattern for these. So if I come here, there's something called a network transmitter. Okay. So we're going to make that pattern. And then the network transmitter comes with a receiver. And then you like this. And then you need a network card to connect the two like this. So let me put all of these in the crafter. We're going to need some paper. So let me see if I have a, I'm going to make paper the hard, well, the hard way, the manual way for now. So I'm going to go like this and make some paper Throw in there, one sugar in there. Perfect. And now we should be able to request these things. So if I come here and I say, uh, transmitter, I'm going to say, give me two of these. Perfect. Then I'm going to say receiver, give me two of these and then network card. Give me two of these. Oh, 
give me two of these. Perfect. So let me grab all of these things. And now that's the thing that I don't quite rem I never remember. I, I think it's transmitter that goes here. Yes. Okay. So the transmitter, the one that you put the card in is always in the like close to your crafting system. So now I'm going to come back here and I don't want I don't want quartz enriched iron nor netherite nor silicon in my system nor glowstone. I'm just going to pull all of that out. What else? Ender pearl. What else? Quartz. Okay. So if I'm looking at this, this. Oh, I don't want blaze rod either. Okay. So I'm going to come back here. So I don't want to have any of these resources in any of my disk drive. That's why I'm doing a little bit of a cleanup. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is I'm going to connect these things and they're not going to empty from this system automatically. So nether star either. So right now there's nothing in here. That's part of this system back there. So I can come back there, put all of this in, and then we're going to go and do a little bit of digging. And I'm going to come right here and put a network receiver right here. And I'm going to use the network card and right click it and come back right here and put it in this one. So network card, I didn't grab the second one. Still not connected. We need another thing for that, that I kind of forgot. We got, we need an external storage. So external storage like this, oh, not the fluid grid. So external storage also let's make that pattern because very useful pattern that we're going to use all the time. And we're going to say, can I make two again? No. Okay. So unfortunately I have to waste a little bit more of your time because I need to teach it to do this. And then I need to teach it to do that. And unfortunately, what did I just do right now? I took out all my glowstone and all my quartz out, but I still don't want to put them. So I'm just going to grab two and come back right here and put just two in the system because that way I can go external storage and craft two. <laughs> almost. I'm almost there. So I went a bit too fast. I forgot that I needed one more step. Like I said, again, I don't want these resource connected because I want them to be in the right place. So this, and now I can do, give me two of these. Whew, okay. And I have nothing in the system that I don't want. So now I can come back right here and I can put this down. Nope, not like this. Okay, so I'm going to break this and fly and I'm going to put it like this. And now I'm going to do something that's super important, okay? I'm going to right click this and set the priority. I'm going to set the priority to 40. Okay. Which means anything that I put in my ME system. Okay. That needs to be in here will not go in the ME system. It will come in here. So let me show you this. I have 3000 stack. Um, no. Okay. Um, this I have. Okay, this I have seven stacks. So I'm going to grab all of these stacks and I'm going to go to my wireless crafting grid, do this, and I'm going to push it all in my ME system. And if I look there, wait, I feel like they didn't all go in. Okay, so zero, if I do this, binding up. No, okay, so they were all there. So processor binding and look at everything else. Everything else is in there and everything else can be used for crafting. So now if I throw it back, one, two, three, four, five, six, hey, no, seven. Oh, the seven are there. So I don't know what I did, but anyway, the beauty of this is I can now also see the block. That's why every resource that can be compacted you always put it in a compacting drawer because if you do this in compacting drawers like this, then you can say, oh, I want a steel block or you can say, no, I want some steel ingots. You can use either and in any recipe. So that's really, really, oh, that's where my dandelion went. 
So that's very good. Uh, now, the other one that I want to connect is this, because I also want to have access to my essence. So let me come down here. We're going to do the same little setup. We're going to grab the network receiver, put it there. We're going to hook the card to it. And I need to break this to go down and set up my next external storage. Again, make sure that you set the priority. So the priority here, what I like doing is I like to put like the same kind of like drawers on 40, disk on 10, uh, like I try to keep a certain level so I always know what's where. Perfect. So let me grab this and this. And now we're going to come back right here, plug this card in. And now technically, when we go for wireless crafting, we should also have all of the essences. Yes, perfect. And all in drawers and all beautiful. And because the priority is 40, they will always see... So Enderman Essence is the best example. That's the simple one. It doesn't have a lot. So I'm going to grab all of it. So two stacks and 22. And I'm going to say, no, I want it in the system back. And it's going to go right here. Two stacks and 22. So that's why. So the only problem that I have right now, which is why I'm not going to start using the system, is that I'm not connected to my e EMC system yet. So until I'm connected to my EMC system, I'm a bit wary of using this because I don't want to be in a situation where things that should go back in the EMC, because once we put the EMC, if I throw back iron in, it's going to go in my disk unless I put a higher priority on this. So I'm going to wait till the next episode. So now, now that we're done with this, we're going to just start a little bit more breeding and we're going to continue. And then we're going to go in the time lapse. So for the first one, I want RGBB diamond, RGB diamond, lead, silver, RGB diamond, lead, silver, RGB diamond, lead, silver. Uh, no, RGB, RGB with diamond, lead with silver. Then I want, uh, so R RGB with diamond is going to make emerald. Lead and silver is going to make osmium. Water and dirt is going to make slimy. So water and is dirt here. Water and dirt is, oh, not lapis. Water and, hmm, okay. Water and dirt. <laughs> I already have it, so I might as well put them there. I'm going to grab some dirt. And you know what? Since I'm here, I'm going to grab some diamonds for my diamond bees i need uh those are the dandelion i need i already have lead i need some silver now silver so a stack of this so let me come back here so like i said i already have the dandelion for the rgb i already have some lead here for the lead and the cobble for the lava uh, no i don't need the lava sorry so dirt right here RGB with diamond, lead with silver. Oh, I forgot the last one. What's the last one? The last one is I want to do water and sand. So water right here. Oh, did I even do the sand one? Darn it. No, I did not do the sand one. So now I'm going to need to wait for one sand one. But while we're waiting, I'm going to put some more water, split that in two. And I'm going to need some sand. SND, not snag, sand, not one, a stack. Perfect. Then we can do this. And, oh, just give me, oh, I'm going to need some more eggs. I'm going to need four. Oh, that's not a problem. What am I talking about? Uh, oh, I, I can use a crafting grid. I was going to say, oh, how am I supposed to do this? But like this. So 16 more, which is not a problem, which I can put back in here. Come on, give me my sand bee, please. Going to, oh, let me grab four more. Because I'm also going to release my skeleton bees because I might need them later. So give me one. Perfect. And we're going to go inside. I don't want to release it in the wild and risk losing it. Right here and put the sand bee right there. And yes, now everything's crafting. 
Uh, one, two, where are the other two? Three and four. Perfect. Let's come out of here and put those in a chest somewhere like so. Perfect. So this is full and making four types of bees. So for the second apiary, I want a pigman and snowball to make blizz. So nope, not skeleton. Blaze. Nope, not blaze. Pigman and snowball. So snowball and pigman. Pigman and Snowball are going to give me Blizz. Pigman and Lava. So Pigman and Lava is going to give me uh, Lumium. Uh, no, and Pigman and Tin. Pigman and Tin. Don't tell me. Yes, the Tin is also a bee I've not made. So I'm just going to wait for this one to finish. Oh. That's not even upgraded. So integrated component right here. And let's just upgrade this so that it's a bit faster. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't think of doing it before. Perfect. So pigment and tin is going to give me uh, lumium. And then pigment and iron. Pigment and iron is going to give me... Oh, I don't remember. I did... I think it's Manus. No, I'm not sure. Let me just search for it. Like, that's really annoying. I made a whole list, and of course, I found a mistake in it. So, Pigman. Pigman and Iron is going to make Pig Iron B. Yeah, that's a very useful one. Not at all. So, Pigman and Iron right here. Okay, so now I need to grab this, 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 and this. Perfect. I need some snowball. I need some lava. No, lava is cobblestone. I need, that's pigment, and which one we were missing? Tin. So I'm going to need a stack of tin. This is a stack of iron. Perfect. So now let's grab some tin. And by the way, for the breathing, it's snowballs, not uh, snow block, because it's the snowball beat. And sleep. And sleep. I don't want to... And sleep. I don't want to deal with the phantom. Please, please, please. Oh, yes. Just in time. So now they're just going to burn. And they're not going to be a problem anymore. I should have my one... Oh. I'm going to be done with all four 10B. So I'm going to start the gravel one. No. Let's finish the sand one first. Let's grab these. And now I need some more of these glass jar. And we can go inside for the setup this time because we're already here anyway. Well, sorry, because we need to grab the bees anyway. Perfect. So like I said, pigmen and snow. So pigmen and snow. Let's do this. Then I need pigmen and lava. Then I need pigmen and tin. And then I need pigmen and, nope, uh, wrong order. Doesn't really matter, but I like having it in the proper order. All of these are crafting, so we're good. We can come back here, put the lava in here and the tin right here. We should be able to start the, the gravel bees right now. Gravel bees, perfect. We have the rest of the sand bee, perfect. So the next apiary is going to be granite and sand so granite um granite granite and sand okay sand are here so granite and sand are going to give me fluorite remember we need fluorite to make the seed so that's how we're going to get it then gravel and sand uh, gravel we don't have yet. Gravel and sand is going to give me niter. Grav uh, coal and sand is going to give me bituminous sand, which I don't think that I need at all for any reason, but, well, it's going to be made, so I'm going to use it. Perfect, so let's do this. Then I need, what's the last one that I want to put in there? I want to put water and snow for IC. So water 
and snow or icy. Now I need to grab the resource for this. Uh, water, I still have some here, so I'm just going to steal a little bit of this and a little bit of this. Perfect. So water and... Nope, that's skeleton. That's not snow. So let's come back right here and get rid of this and find the actual snow bee. Perfect. So that's going to give me icy and snow is snowball. So I'm going to need some more snowball. Snowball like this. I'm also going to need some sand. Oh, so this I'm going to grab two stacks because I need to use some here and some here. I'm going to need some gravel. Gravel. Grab one stack. Uh, what is this? Those are granite. So I'm going to need granite. One stack. And the coal I already nope, I already have in here. Perfect. So that's my next apiary. So let's go back here for breeding. So we can go. No, nope, we're going to go in because we actually have to collect the bee. Oh. So let me do this. And I need three sand bees. So let's do this. One, two, and three. Uh, two, and three. Perfect. So, coal and sand. And, oh, need gravel. How am I out of? I need some more bee jars. One, two. One, two. So, the next one is... Uh, gravel, gravel, and sand again, and then it's granite, oh wait, gravel and sand, where, granite and sand, okay, so granite and sand, I just did them in the reverse order, as I said, so granite and sand, Perf oh, no, you go here, and you go like this, and that also needs to be four, unless it already produced one. No, it hasn't produced one yet. Then the last one that I wanted is water and snow for ice. Perfect. So that's four more ready. Now let's come down here. We're going to put the gravel bee right here. I'm going to make sure to start the next batch, like so. And I have two gravel bee. I'm just going to go in the closest one that I have. Like this and grab, grabby grab. Put them in here. Perfect. And the last apiary of breeding, I want water and gravel. So water, uh, no, gravel. So water and gravel. Water is going to be right here. Oh, that's my last water. So that's why it's a good thing that I made four. Grab you ABB because I don't have four of you. And these I don't know how to read. I don't think you can read, and I want four of each. So water and gravel for salt. Then we need water and wood. Oh, where are all my water thing? Water. Oh, these are all finished, so I can grab these, but that wasn't planned very well, was it? And another water. So I want water and wood to make rubber, and I want water and lava to make obsidian. I already made the obsidian. Yes. And the last one is obsidian and nether. Obsidian and nether. You make the ancient something something. So nether is going to be right here. Perfect. So now, like I said, I need the nether rack for this. Uh, I'm going to need some more water. I'm going to need some more gravel. And what did I say? I said I needed water with wood, which is why I was producing it. Here. water and wood and I'm going to be able to start the last one water and wood water and gravel perfect grab this so I'm gonna need water and wood so wood oak let's grab a stack of oak wood let's grab a stack of leaves because we're kind of running out of leaves like this perfect uh, then we need some obsidian Obsidian, let's grab a stack of obsidian. And we need just gravel now. So gravel, a stack of gravel right here. Oh, wait, what, what was that one going to be? That one's going to be water and... Oh, no, I don't need this third one. 
because I've already made this third one. It was the obsidian. I ended up doing the obsidian uh, earlier because I knew that it was used for a second recipe. So let me come back here. We have some beast to catch, so we're going to need to go inside anyway. Oh, and kill some animals. Perfect. Well, you know what I mean. So let's grab these four, one, two, three, four, and do one, two, three, four. Perfect. So now for the breathing, uh, water and gravel and like this. Then we need water and wood. And then we need obsidian and nether and nothing for the next one. That's fine. Uh, like I said, I miscounted my setup. It's The bees are kind of a little bit complicated, so I kind of messed those up. But that's going to be the last crafting bees that we need to do. I'm just going to wait for that one bee, and then we're going to catch them up, and we're going to go in the time lapse. And while I'm catching those up, I'm going to talk about the time lapse. So in the time lapse, I'm going to be making more uh, crafting recipe. Like I'm going to make a lot more crafting recipe and I don't have any drawer system, uh, any other drawer system that I want to connect. So that's not going to be a problem. Uh, I'm not going to be connecting any of these. What else do I want to do? Yes, I want to finish the flux quest. So I'm also going to be manually making a lot of flux. Uh, so I'm going to be putting some automated recipe. I'm going to be getting a lot of flux. I'm going to be cleaning up uh, the space around so that we can make the gargantuan, gargantuan flux storage. And I'm going to look at my uh, seeds uh, to see where we're at. Like I'm going to make a stat, put a status on the seed. I'm going to tear all of this down and move it back there. And one of the things that I want to do, uh, I want to talk quickly about this quest. Like now we're going to have to do all of this up to a million, a thousand million storage part and a thousand million fluid storage part. We're going to need a stupid amount of silicon and a stupid amount of quartz enriched iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just make sure that I start making massive essence for essence for the um, for these two resource. So what I'm going to do is since we have these drawers right here, and I think what kind of upgrades do they have? None. Okay. So what I'm going to do is that if you remember these essence they need to be used to make the higher tier catalyst. So every one of these seeds, uh, of the, these flower back here, I'm going to set up one extra one of them. Well, not here. I'm going to make it, uh, I'm going to use this line here. And here I'm going to put a line of Mark IV power pot. And the Mark IV power pot is going to be one for each of these. It's going to be one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It's basically, basically, if I come back here, I'm going to show it easier. I should have done that from the beginning. Uh, it's going to be those six, ooh, plus those six, plus those six. And I'm going to pick up one of each of these seeds because, unfortunately, I guess I really didn't think about doing it before. And now, this is not completed and I won't be able to complete that quest until I grab all of these seeds. But I'm going to make sure that I have 6, 12, 18 Mark IV pot uh, just massively producing this essence so that we're ready to be able to do the upgrade because next episode, like I said, we're going to be uh, not encapsulating. We're going to be doing catalytic conversion because we need the second level of this because the second level of this gives us the medium tier three. And the medium tier three, I absolutely need to make the transmutation interface. So I kind of have a lot of work to do and I'm going to get into it. And of course, I'm probably going to need to add a reactor or two if I'm adding 12 new uh, Mark IV pot. But I'm also going to auto craft the Mark IV pot. I'm going to make the auto crafting recipe for these. And I'm going to try and better prepare for the next batch of bee breeding. Oh. Let me look at my time. And again, I'm, this is an hour and 10 episode. I'm, I'm doing this again where I'm making massive episodes. So no, not one last thing. I'm just going to go into my time lapse because this episode is way too long again. 
And I hope you do enjoy the long episode because I think this is a bit of madness. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now! Like a hurricane To my heart To the fire away See the lights On the other side I'm going to get there And hope we will meet there Fuck.